30 years above na kang nakatira dito sa Marikina. At halos dito na kami lumaki at dito na ako nagkaroon ng apo. Yung kabataan ko, malinis yung river. Diyan kami nagpipiknik pag araw ng linggo. Nagdadala kami pagkain, mga nagsiswimming. Parang pang pelikula siya yung ilog dat dyan. Malinis ang ilog ng Marikina. Water is life. Water has life. Water, like all living things, can lose its life through biological and chemical contamination resulting from human use that takes away water's life-giving properties. But through the efforts of Manila Water, together with local government units and national government agencies such as the Metropolitan Waterworks and Sewerage System and the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, water can be given new life. What has once been used and discarded can be revived. Steadfast in its commitment to protect the environment and enhance sustainable development, Manila Water has established a long-term used water treatment master plan that will help revive our rivers. The Manila Water Master Plan for Used Water Treatment is collecting all of the domestic sewage within the A-Zone concession through constructing sewer networks and then treat it in sewer treatment plants before we discharge it to the three major river system, which is Marikina River, Pasig River, and San Juan River. The goal of the Used Water Master Plan is to cover 99% of the East Zone concession area. Set to contribute immensely to this master plan is the Marikina North Sewerage System Project. Its 100 MLB sewer treatment plan capacity is built to treat used water flows in significant area of uh, Marikina City and San Mateo in Rizal. The Marikina North STP is Manila Water's biggest, most ambitious sewage treatment plan to date. To put the project's vastness into context, 100 million liters of used water treated daily is equivalent to 40 Olympic-sized swimming pools. The water goes through a 22-kilometer pipeline, with pipe sizes ranging from 200 millimeters to 1,200 millimeters. Commissioning this megastructure was accompanied by thoughtful care and advanced engineering. Microtunneling was a chosen technology to best execute this undertaking. Microtunneling is a process that involves a remote-controlled microtunnel boring machine combined with a pipe jacking technique that inserts the pipes simultaneously in one single push. The process enabled pipe laying without digging the streets and endangering workers, pedestrians, and motorists. We've gone 23 meters deep to allow us to be more efficient in the way that we collect and transport the sewage to the treatment plant. Normally, we would operate a network at about 5 to 10 meters deep. Not only did we use innovation in network construction, but also in the STP design. We've introduced new technologies, for example, turbo blowers, and we've introduced technologies that will allow us to treat the sewage at the lowest possible cost. We have built the sewage treatment plant in quite a small compact area, so we've been able to design it uh, in a way that uh, utilizes a very small footprint. What we have done is we've raised the sewage treatment plant to be 26.5 meters above uh, ground level to accommodate the fact that it is in a flood prone area. The construction of the Marikina North Sewerage System project is currently marked by 6 million safe man hours without any lost time for accidents the highest in a Manila water project to date. Engineering specialists, as well as local workers, work together to build this complex system. Nung tinatayo yung planta, niisip namin na komplikado kasi malaki siya. Niisip din namin na hindi magpapatayo ang Manila water dyan kung hindi ka pakipakinabang. This project of Manila water will definitely elevate Marikina into a world-class green city. This project will provide an environmentally conscious vibe to the city due to its main function of cleaning wastewater in which investors can come and enjoy Marikina's trust towards a better, greener livelihood among its constituents. Yung ilog na lang ang amin niya natitirang malaking natural resource. Kaya yun ang inaalagaan namin. Ang laki ng contribution nito dun sa pangarap namin na matreat 
ang mga wastewater bago pumunta yan sa ilog. Uh, makikinabang nito yung mga anak o yung magiging apo namin na talagang magiging malinis na yung ating uh, kapaligiran at yung ilog. With a vital part of San Mateo enjoying sewer coverage, it will send an important message that the municipality is well on its way of becoming a progressive city with basic services in place which can be enjoyed by investors and residents alike. By 2037, the Marikina North Sewerage System is targeted to benefit more than half a million people in Marikina and San Mateo. Its contribution in sustaining and preserving our rivers for generations to come. Pangarap ko po sa mga anak ko at sa apo ko yung maranasan nila yung ilog at makita nila yung ilog na malinis na pwede nilang paliguan at pagpiknikan din na katulad ng naranasan ko dati noon. Posibleng mangyari uli yung kasi nandyan yung Manila water na maglilinis ng ilog. This is the Marikina North Sewerage System Project. Complex in design, meticulous in execution, providing immeasurable benefits to you. A compelling symbol of Manila Water's sincere care in every drama.